Hey, what's up? I added winter tiles to RPG Playground. Now, what is RPG Playground? Well, it's a tool that I created to create your own role-playing games. It's really easy to use, so it's ideal for making your first RPG. I will put a link in the description below so you can check it out. And of course, if you want to make your own role-playing games, make sure you subscribe to this channel. All right, let's check out those winter tiles. So I added four extra tile sets. It's snow ground, snow walls, buildings and outdoor. These are edits of the ref map tile sets that were already in here, but now you have the winter styled version of it. Let's check out the ground tiles first. So if we go to the top here, it's really white, so I hope you can see it. But we can select the snow, we use the fill tool and we fill up the entire area with some snow. And then of course you can select for example this snowy grass patch we don't want to fill it out entirely so we're gonna use the rectangle tool and we're just gonna create a little patch here now of course you can do it with everything that you see here the rectangle tool really makes it easy for you this one is especially nice in my opinion so just to show you what it looks like now for example with these patches if you want to create another shape than a pure rectangle what you can do is you use the remove tool here Re you remove a few of the tiles where is it now all right here then you can extend it again with the rectangle tool let's extend it a bit put an edge here we forgot this one still and then we need to see here this one there's like a corner missing so select the right corner tile so that's how you can make irregular shapes with these kind of ground tiles. All right, what's next? Well, we also have walls, which is more like rocks and things like that. For example, we can use this one. Let's select it again with the rectangle tool. Make it as big or as small as you want to. And then we can add, for example, this one on top of it like that all right and that's how you can create some walls and things like that we also have some trees here next up are buildings now these include all buildings that you get from the default ref map tool so if you see here ref map buildings here you see all kinds of houses and if we go to the snow version we have exactly the same houses but with snow of course so let's quickly create the house here drag it here and then for example like a small house all right now i also added here some shadow tiles but i will come back to this one later now let's check out the final one which is the snow outdoor and these are like trees or anything else that you can find outside also at the end here we have some extra rooftops so for example if we select this one and we select the paintbrush then you could add it like this or have a taller roof of course then it might look nicer all right and the rest is of course really easy just add some trees here i also made sure that this one is like three tiles high so if you use the rectangle tool you can make this as high as you want to also for example two tiles three four and this one too you can make a whole patch of little bushes here like this and let's add another thing here with the paintbrush all right cool now i mentioned the shadow tiles so let's go back there at the buildings now as you can see here we have a few shadow tiles what you can do is select this one select the rectangle tool and here you can actually fill out your entire level uh, like this course you have to make sure that you do it for your entire level I'm not gonna do it here I'm just gonna show you a bit what it looks like and then you can create some kind of night effect now the cool thing here is let's stay in the shadow here if we go to for example inquisitor and I think it's the buildings here we have here some shiny things so we can add those Let's add a few here. Let's also add one here. And if you go back to the shadow tiles, which is the buildings here, let's go up. 
this one is like a light so you can actually use it click here put some lights there what you can also do is the snow outdoor also has like this kind of like christmas tree here so we could add it here and here go back to the light highlights here and then you can also add it like a few lights here so i think you can create some really nice effects here of course let's try it out let's the hero walk around a bit of course these sides here you have to all fill it up with shadow if you want to go even darker then you can do that so this is the light one this is the dark one if you want to go still darker you select the other one so first we had the dark one now we select the light one and you can even make it still wanting darker if you prefer that of course now that's it for what's available right now of course if you like rpg playground if you like this update i make rpg playground available for free so please do me a favor and give me a thumbs up on this video that's much appreciated now on to what you can expect next so let's take a look at the roadmap this roadmap is available online you can vote on your favorite features i will put a link in the description below so definitely check it out and start voting on your favorite features what can you expect for the next update? Well, it's water tiles, of course. Maybe I will add some other things in there. I will have to see. And if you notice this one, for the near future, I moved inventory, shop and item system in the near future. So when I'm done with the water tiles, you can expect this one. It's a big development, but I know a lot of you want to use this in your RPG game. So I'll focus on that one after the water tiles. That's it for now. You can go to rpgplayground.com. Just click the link below this video. And of course, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on anything. And if you're really new here, I have a tutorial series right here that you can view to get a first introduction of how to use RPG Playground and what you can do with it. All right, see you next time. Bye.